Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include EU heat metering rules open new markets for Germany's ISTA. Tiny Baltic country would be 18th member of the troubled European Currency Union. Most Europeans, especially the French, are unhappy about the EU. Economists calls for a new global currency, plus Fitch cuts Cyprus rating warns Troika program could fail. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage, new EU regulations imposing individualised charges for heating in apartment buildings are a boon for meter specialist ISTA, which hopes to build on its strong presence in Germany to win European market share. German apartment dwellers have long taken for granted they will be billed only for the heat they actually use, determined by accurate meter readings. Yet elsewhere across the continent, landlords usually charge flat fees for heating based on surface area or family size. That practice looks set to change. The tiny Baltic state of Latvia has won approval to become the 18th member of the troubled Euro currency union, despite doubts among many of its people and international concerns about its banking system. European Union officials said Latvia's willingness to join next year is a vote of confidence for the shared currency. At the moment, the 17-strong group of EU countries that use the euro is struggling with a crisis over too much government debt, a stubborn recession and 12.2% unemployment. Olli Rehn, the EU's top economic and monetary official, said Wednesday that Latvia's membership bid was further evidence that those who predicted the disintegration of the euro area were wrong. Hmm. All right then, Ollie, we'll see. Nearly two-thirds of French people think the European Union is headed in the wrong direction, and more than half disapprove of François Hollande's leadership, according to a widely watched survey released on Wednesday. The poll, conducted in six EU countries by Gallup, also found most Britons want to leave the European Union, a higher figure than in other recent surveys. That is likely to fuel demands for an early British referendum on EU membership. But perhaps the most striking findings were those related to France, a founding EU member state that is experiencing increasing disillusionment over Europe amid slumping growth and rising unemployment since Hollande took office a year ago. Robert Mundell, an economist and 1999 Nobel Prize winner and current professor at Columbia University and advisor to the Chinese government, has called for a new global currency, saying that the dollar era had gone with the wind. He calls for a new international cocktail or basket of major world currencies. Mundell, who was visiting Amman last week, said that the main reason for the 2008 financial crisis is that the US Federal Reserve had allowed major increases in the value of US dollar, which had deflationary effects and had exacerbated the country's real economy further, conducive to the Lego effect of decline in the world economies thereof. Well, the conspiracy theorists will be rubbing their hands together with glee, jumping up and down and saying, I told you so. There has been much rumoured about the new world order and the idea of a global currency. There are those that believe the current economic crisis is indeed an engineered collapse designed as part of the strategy to bring about a world currency and subsequent world government. All interesting stuff, but here at the unit we like to stick to the facts. Just the facts, ma'am. Rating agency Fitch on Monday cut Cyprus rating further into junk and warned more cuts could be on the way as the EU IMF rescue programme could fail. The agency cut Cyprus' long-term foreign currency issuer default rating to B- from B with a negative outlook due to the country's elevated economic uncertainty. Cyprus has no flexibility to deal with domestic or external shocks and there is a high risk of the EU IMF programme going off the track. With financing buffers potentially insufficient to absorb material, fiscal and economic slippage, Fitch said in a statement. 
It is a shameful state of affairs and the Euro elite kleptocrats should feel very guilty for their policy choices. Sadly, however, I suspect they're simply relishing the idea of a cheap condo for the summer recess. Today in our video library, a reminder about our dedicated in-studio program, Eurocon. In this episode, we look at what appears to be yet another campaign of British politicians being economical with the truth. We consider the case for the European single market. I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E Unit. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Are you looking for a public speaker for your event? Our public speakers are happy to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area at no cost. If you would like to add interest and value to your group event, then get in touch with us via the words section of our website. Join us in our live question time style online show, The Unit Interactive, broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com. Join our community on Google+, and you can be part of the wider public voice, united in freedom, liberty, and independence. Simply join our community, the unit on Google+, links to the community page are below. <laughs>